Okay, we're going to take a quick look at how to combine data from loggers such as uh, U12 that record temperature and humidity on an interval type basis. Right here we're recording every 15 minutes uh, versus how to combine a motor on off logger. Uh, the U9, in this case we're recording uh, the runtime of my furnace and as you can see here the logger looks every second, doesn't record anything until uh, the furnace is either kicked on or kicked off. So your time frames can be a little off, but we'll show you here how Hoboware can combine some information for you. So first off, what we're going to do is combine a little bit of uh, temperature information. So what we do is go up and hit copy. We'll come back over to this file here and hit paste. It'll begin to uh, integrate uh, the new, new information here. Copy and paste. What we're going to want to do is get rid of humidity because I'm really not interested in looking at that at this point so we can remove that entirely from our graph. So as you can see it's starting to combine information as we're going along. One of the things you do have the ability to do is uh, change change what this is. So you can say that this is the uh, the living room. This will then update over here as well as over here. Uh, we'll bring in our outside temperature here and then uh, let's get to let's get over to our runtime. We'll click here, highlight it, hit copy. We'll come back to our main and then hit paste. So as you can see, what it did was it came in, it's overlaying the time frames for you. It's added in new information. Let me just expand this screen here out. And what we'll do is just scroll down through the information here. Let's get to a point where we have a lot of data going on. Here's a, a really good example of, uh, we have uh, the different temperature measurements. Uh, and then uh, as we're going here into uh, October, and it's time to time to start getting that furnace kicked on again and get the heat kicked on. And basically what you're seeing happening is that here's your interval base. So you have uh, your 15 minute interval and then what Hoboware has done is integrated uh, the on off status here in between. So you can also export this data and bring it into Excel. It'll show up exactly like this already combined. Uh, one of the things that you'll want to do uh, is if you are continuing to work within Hoboware, uh, you can save this as a project file. So if you want to come back and add on to this. In order to do that, you come up and hit File and go Save Project. It's a little different. It's using an HProj. Uh, file extension and this will uh, basically allow you to come back in here and add on to this and modify uh, as you see fit and as you get more data and continue to add on. In the next segment we're going to take a quick look at how to filter your data on the U9 logger so it makes a little more sense than just individual readings.